The Golden Empire of E.T. is the new Game of Thrones prequel show that HBO is developing. It'll be an animated show based on the Golden Empire of E.T., one of the oldest civilizations in the known world, which originated in the wake of the Long Night, and survived to this very day. It's at least 8000 years old. It was already ancient when the Valyrians, including the Targaryens, were still shepherds, and had not yet trained dragons over 5000 years ago. E.T. is a great realm located in the further east of Essos, and its supposed successor to the mythic Great Empire of the Dawn, which according to legend, fell during the Long Night. It's ruled by a god emperor who is worshipped as divine. Much as George R. R. Martin's Westeros is inspired by medieval Europe, George's mystic E.T. is inspired by imperial China. It's a mysterious, little-known part of Martin's world, that will now be discovered to fans on HBO. The House of the Dragon, Ten Thousand Ships, Tales of Duncan Egg, and Robert's Rebellion are not the only Game of Thrones prequels that HBO is developing. HBO is also working on Game of Thrones prequel Golden Empire of E.T. As most of you already know, The House of the Dragon is Game of Thrones' successor show based on George R. R. Martin's Fire and Blood, a history of House Targaryen set 300 years before the events in Game of Thrones. Ten Thousand Ships takes place a thousand years before, set 1000 years before the events of Game of Thrones. The series tells the story of a warrior Queen Princess Nymeria, and the surviving Roinars who traveled from Essos to Dorne, following their defeat by Valyrian and their dragons. Based on an ongoing series of fantasy novellas by George R. R. Martin, set in the world of A Song of Ice and Fire, Tales of Dunk and Egg prequel series will follow the adventures of the Hedge Knight, Sir Duncan the Tall Dunk, who would become a legendary Lord Commander of the Kingsguard, and his squire Egg, who would become King Aegon the Fifth Targaryen of Westeros. The stories begin with their meeting 89 years before the events of Game of Thrones and will cover the events until the deaths of Dunk and Egg, in the mysterious tragedy at Summerhall. This new prequel show based on the legendary Golden Empire is the only prequel that will not take place at Westeros, but rather on Essos, to be more precise in the Far East, where the maps end. Can we just pause the video for one second and take this moment to like and subscribe to the channel, as this is the place you'll hear news regarding all the Game of Thrones prequels, and let's continue. E.T. is a region in the Far East of the continent of Essos, officially known as the Golden Empire of E.T. It lies near the eastern limits of the known world and is sometimes mentioned in the same breath as Ashai, indicating its extreme distance from Westeros. Karth is located on the narrow straits at the western end of the Jade Sea, and E.T. lies on that sea's northeastern shores. People or things from E.T. are referred to as Yetish. We have only seen one Yetish in Game of Thrones. A red priestess that you've seen in Volantis was of ethnic Yet origin. In Season 5, at the Long Bridge in Volantis in Essos, she preaches to the slaves gathered around her that Danny Targaryen is a prophesied savior sent by Reller. Tyrion Lannister and Varys watch and listen from a distance. Tyrion mocks her until she turns to face him, seemingly knowing his words, despite the distance. She stares at him intently, forcing the two to leave the scene in unease. This is the first East Asian to appear as a character with speaking lines in Game of Thrones series. There are people in the known world of the novels who are ethnically East Asian in appearance, and they live in the far east of Essos, far east of Karth and the Dothraki Sea, in the Great Empire of Yi Ti, the narrative's analogue to ancient China. As George R. R. Martin explained, Yi Ti is so far away from Westeros, that encountering Yi Ti people in King's Landing is as unlikely as encountering people from China in medieval England. Medieval long-distance travel was quite limited. In the novels, the only time Yi-Ti people ever appear is when Daenerys Targaryen is even further east, at the Dothraki city based Dothrak, a mention in passing that few of the merchants at the city's market are from Yi-Ti. Yi-Ti is one of the oldest and most advanced societies in the known world. Even the ruins of fallen cities in Yi-Ti dwarf the largest cities in Westeros. Many valuable commodities such as rare spices, gems and silks are found in E.T., making the region incredibly wealthy. Its princes are said to live opulently in houses of solid gold, feasting on meat powdered with pearls and jade. 
the capital of Yi Ti is the ancient city of Yin, with the god emperor living in a palace nearly the size of King's Landing, a heavily guarded city within a city. Unlike the other ancient civilizations of Essos, such as the Giscari Empire and the Valyrian Freehold, Yi Ti never collapsed due to internal instability, nor has it ever been conquered by outside forces. Thus, Yi Ti culture has endured unbroken longer than any other civilization. Yi Ti's religion includes several gods, but is focused around two primary deities, the Maiden Maid of Light and the Lion of Night. A few Westerosi have ever traveled all the way to Yi Ti, although a handful of adventurers have made the long journey. Among them was the famous navigator Lord Corlys Valerian, known as the Sea Snake, who will be the main character in the House of the Dragon. He sailed to E.T. and brought back enough rare and valuable spices to make the Valerians for a time, one of the richest and therefore the most powerful families in Westeros. E.T. is known to be a real place, but most people know very little about it, and it's still semi-legendary to people living in Westeros, much more so than Karth, but not nearly as much as Fear the Shy. Even the maesters only know a basic outline of its history and culture in part because Yi Ti's scholars greatly prize their delicate, millennia-old historical scrolls, so they do not share them with outsiders. Yi Ti has a long and extensive history dating back 8,000 years. Since the Long Night, Yi Ti has been ruled by 11 dynasties of emperors. The longest lasted 7 centuries, the shortest only half a century. Sometimes transitions between dynasties were peaceful, other times they were violent. Several civilizations have rival claims to be the eldest, particularly E.T., Karth and the Giscari Empire. The Giscari Empire originated before the Long Night, and was still young at the time of the Cataclysm. E.T. claims that it had an even older empire, for many thousands of years before that, during the Dawn Age, but which was destroyed during the Long Night and had to be rebuilt. The tales of this great empire of the dawn, as it is known, are apparently mostly legend, filled with emperors who lived for centuries and warred with the gods. Still, only a few generations separated the confirmed founding of both, Old Giz slightly before the Long Night and E.T. slightly after, yet Old Giz was destroyed 5000 years ago by the rising Valyrian Freehold. In contrast, the Golden Empire of E.T. is by far the oldest continuous civilization in the world both at present and throughout recorded history, with culture and accurately transmitted historical records stretching back 8000 years to the end of the Long Night. In comparison, the Giscari Empire lasted about 3000 years, and the Valyrian Freehold about 5000 years. The civilization of E.T. is therefore extremely advanced, because while it's had its share of civil wars, its society never truly collapsed in the way that Western Essos did after the Doom of Valyria, or experienced an effect as the Andal invasion had on Westeros. One Westerosi who traveled there described E.T. as the land of a thousand gods and a hundred princes, ruled by one god emperor. The empire lives in a constant state of war against the Jogos Nhai, with many an imperial general and three god emperors having led armies across the plains to bring the nomads to heal, but such attempts seldom ended well, and eventually the Jogos Nai raids began anew. The empire is also in danger from one of their own emperors, who has been overthrown. Far to the east of even more distant Ashai, the vaguest of rumors and black legends tell of the strange city of Carcosa, ruled by its emperor in yellow, Allegedly, the last of the Yellow Emperors of E.T. were thrown and exiled for practicing twisted dark arts. According to stories, the Yellow Emperor has managed to prolong his life for a thousand years through arcane and unspeakable magic rituals, and he is biding his time in Carcosa until the day he will attempt to reclaim E.T. Others say that this is just a story told in E.T. to frighten misbehaving children. We'll have to wait and see. The Game of Thrones prequels are coming, The House of the Dragon is the first, coming in the first half of 2022 on HBO. Many more prequels will follow, such as 10,000 Ships, Tales of Duncan Egg, Robert's Rebellion, and of course CT, which is currently in development. Thank you so much for watching, if you enjoyed this video please give it a big thumbs up and I hope to see you in the next one. Peace!